60 celsius at 5.5 gigahertz that's the goat shit man i i dude i bet you if i grabbed another 3090 ti and put him in sli right now we could break benchmarks world records right now dude i bet you we could with this cpu dude i don't think i've seen a cpu with a better bin than this thing dude seriously I wanted to do core speed scaling, 4.5 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 5.5 gigahertz. And then we'll just do a couple of quick benchies to see the difference, just to see if it does scale on uh, on the Intel, right? And um, the, the, the question is, the question that I wanted to ask was, how hard should you push for clock speed like how like like do you know what i'm saying what if the 4.5 gives you the same gaming experience as a 5.5 right let's check it out we can chat while we do some benchmarks right 4.5 gigahertz so let's do uh do like rift breaker war zone we can do 3d mark and tomb raider there we go good we'll do these four that's really simple and fast dude why are there so many 12 year old boys that watch me i didn't know that there was such a large 12 year old boy like following it's super weird dude don't you guys want to watch pokimane or amaranth and see some titties where are the parents at in these scenarios well, like are you not checking what your kid is doing online so if i if i if my kid was 12 years old and he was like look at this bald 40 year old man with his warzone fps i get more fps than this 40 year old bald man if i was that guy's dad like man we're gonna go to the park and talk to some girls I'm gonna put you in a soccer league or some hockey. I'm gonna put you in like some self-defense classes. Like we need to we need to get you outside, son. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, something's not right here. Oh yeah, see the 1% lows are still uh from what that guy was complaining about earlier. Full screen is this not full screen mode maybe is that what it is maybe it's windowed mode only thing i can think of oh my god that's what it was it was full screen mode man so we we didn't use full screen mode in the uh in the the other one that's all it was yeah man you gotta be there's your variance right there dude yeah it's just it wouldn't yeah that, that's my bad i should have usually because i installed a fresh windows on all my rigs i didn't make sure that everything was full screen right is what it is i usually do that but we were in a rush so this is why it's kind of tough to um, benchmark things on stream i'm trying to like engage with chat benchmark it's not it's not really a thorough job right i'm not doing three runs taking an average of the three runs i'm not making it's a fuck it's a yolo fest dude you know what i'm saying so maybe take those videos with a grain of salt five this was actually five four point five slash four point four ring right this is five point oh slash four point eight Yeah, five gigahertz. And then let's start over. 3D mock. Hang on, guys, one sec. Oh, yeah, so it did. So, Time Spy. I need to change my font again, man. Okay, so we got 17690. Let's do a little bit of math here. So, 
five gigahertz. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing here? 11% clock speed increase. Wait a minute. That makes no fucking sense. Oh, it is 11%. Why does it seem so much more than that? Huh. All right, whatever. So, it seems like, yeah, it seems so much more than that, but I guess not. Um, 17, 690 divided by 15979. Oh, yeah, that was almost linear, huh? 11%. Look at that. 10-7. Damn. That was 100% fucking linear. Look at that shit. Cool. I was totally wrong about that. All right, let's go on. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool to see. Let's do Rift Breaker next. Oh, dude, I didn't even... I didn't even think about the Shadow Clones, man. Jesus Christ. God damn, dude. <laughs> fuck oh you could oh he could use the transformation jutsu with that shit too and like fuck himself why has no one explored these topics there's so many possibilities there's so many sexual possibilities in naruto man so many uh, hang on here. 210, 158. Yeah, even that got a good little bump there, didn't it? Look at that. It's pretty sick. We'll calculate that after. Hang on, guys. One sec. Calculator. I also can't engage with the chat when I uh, play games too. If I'm doing mindless benchmarks like this, we I can like look at chat, chill. If this is more chill, like when I'm when I'm playing fucking Apex or Overwatch, man, I can't be looking at chat. I'm laser focused on the fucking game, right? Uh, it's not a it's not a good um, viewer experience either, right? Divide one eighty-eight. Linear, man. God damn. 11%, 12%. More scaling. Um, probably because the ring added on to, right? 158 divided by 141. 12%. Yeah, dude. 12% on the lows and the average. That's pretty sick, dude. There's that Intel fucking linear scale, dude. That's crazy. This is, that's fucking crazy. This, th these results are like, uh, quite surprising. Let's do Tomb Raider next. 240 average. 1% low of 153. Barely any scaling at all. 153. I am using DDR5 though. Higher latency. So that could be why, right? Um... You know, but so this, maybe I should have used the DDR4 rig, but see, the thing is the God bin is on the DDR5 rig. So I had to use the DDR5 rig for this test. The, the, the direct die God bin is on this rig, right? The other one, none of my other chips can reach 5.5. So whatever it is, what it is, right? 5.5 boys. 5.5 YOLO Okay YOLO that shit Yeah, that's right Look how snappy it is, dude That 5.5 that notepad snappiness You can tell Dude, I can tell I need to run 5.5 all the time all the time i put fresh liquid metal on it last night so it should be fine 
if you say anything pause about amd the thousand i know they do i know they will dude that one video that i said the 5800 x3d was the best chip of 2022 you know how many subscribers i got from that video it's concerning it's concerning you know how easy it is to grow on youtube if you're just an amd fanboy that's fucked dude this legit fucked god damn 19103 divided by 158979 20% 1 5 8% yeah a bit better still not perfectly linear but whatever let's just let's move on here when you have memory latency the size of the cache comes into play with the dips and the one percent lows and shit, right so if you can get alder lake to 45 nanoseconds or lower then there's no benefit to going lower you know what i'm saying but you're comparing that's why my ddr5 and ddr4 numbers have the same fps and ddr5 has a little bit more leeway on the latency so you could probably have like 47 or 48 nanoseconds and that's like the equivalent of like 45 on ddr4 right because it can access more banks at once that's the advantage of ddr5 right but anyway um so in my benchmarks i just happen to hit that threshold on both memory types right with zen um you're gonna be into the 60s of nanoseconds and without the 3d cache right we're talking base so you can literally go on there's there's an l2 cache increase a little bit but we don't know how that's gonna affect it they're, they're doubling the l2 cache on the base chips so that might alleviate some of that right but not all of it uh 219 168. I have to run it again. 219, 168. Oh, that's quite a bit better. Um, 219 divided by 2.10. 4%. What about the lows though 168 divided by 158 six percent so we'll say five percent average there and then 219 divided by 188 is 17 percent right and the 68 divided by 141 so we can say 18 percent on average Yeah, so you're seeing it not scale up to 5.5. Not linearly, not like it did from 4.5 to... It's still pretty good, though. Still pretty good. Wait, did I get this backwards? I did get it backwards. There we go. Okay, let's go Tomb Raider. Okay. Okay. Last two games. Right, so anyway, what I was saying was if you're at like 60 nanoseconds, that's not... You need the 3D cache to offload the latency uh, requirement, right? Run. I'm surprised 5.5 and 5 is stable. This is awesome. yeah it's kind of it's not much i think it is the unstable ring that's doing it, but let's just go off the averages here anyway uh 288 divided by 269 
seven percent and 288 divided by 281 is 3%. Yeah, so there's actually not much scaling past. For a 10% clock speed increase, we got 3% in Tomb Raider. Eh. Right? It might. I Maybe I should try this with DDR4 one day. It's just super low latency. It might scale more. This, the, like, at, at 5.5 gigahertz, the CPU might be waiting for the memory right now. Right? It might just be waiting for that shit because the DDR5 is too laggy. Let's do Warzone. You can put, like, 155. Take an average of all that shit. Anyway. The story still is what I'm saying it is, though. Calculate. Hardware is not that serious 245 divided by 240 2 percent and then 245 divided by 233 5 percent 2 percent dude so the the difference between uh well you're obviously gpu bound here but yeah the difference between 4.5 and 5.5 is 5 percent in war zone just chill the fuck out with those overclocks it's not that serious all right boys moral of the story here 4.5 to 5.50 5, is kind of worth it and then somewhere along the line it kind of just stops scaling after that even in rift breaker you get five percent for ten percent and a lot more heat and a lot more load don't worry about it stop around stop around 5.1 or 5.2 when you're gucci don't worry about it yeah thanks everybody uh i'll see you on the next stream and we'll do some latency scaling and shit